If you're taking the Praxis Math 5165 exam, well, this type of question can really trip you up because it looks easy, and that means you're going to want to do this problem really fast so you can move on to the next question. But you got to be very careful because you can easily make an error. So let's take a look at the problem. A teacher wants to pack students into teams of four. If there are 27 students, what is the smallest number of teams needed so that no team has more than four students and no student is left out? All right, now we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 6, B is 7, C is 8, and D is 9. Now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to walk through exactly how to solve this problem in just one second. But uh, I'm going to assume you are preparing to take the Praxis Math 5165 exam because you're watching this video. And if that is the case, you definitely have to check out my test prep course. It's my Praxis Math 5165 test prep course to be specific because uh, this uh, particular exam covers a lot of mathematics to include basic math, algebra, geometry, advanced algebra, and uh, even a little bit of calculus. So you need to know a lot of math to pass this certification exam. And I have a great test prep course that can really help you out. If you want to check it out, just follow the link in the description. Okay, so here is the problem. So hopefully you know how to answer it, but uh, let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so as I indicated, there is a lot of math on the Praxis Math 5165 exam. So a problem like this would likely be one of the easiest problems on this particular exam because all you need to solve this problem is basic arithmetic. But the challenging part here is to make sure you don't go too fast because if you rush this problem, you can kind of uh, trip up what the question is asking and then you'll select the wrong answer. So let's take a look at the question again. A teacher wants to pack students into teams of four. If there are 27 students, what is the smallest number of teams needed so that no team has more than four students and no student is left out? So if you're not quite sure you understand the question, just take a quick moment to maybe model the problem. All right, so we have 27 students. So that is the first thing the problem tells us. So I'm just going to quickly write out 27 students. And the problem says that um, we want to break this up into teams of four. So a teacher wants to pack students into teams of four. And we have 27 students. So we need to figure out how many teams or what's the smallest number of teams we need set so that no team has more than four students. All right. So. We have teams of four, not teams of five. Okay, so specifically teams of four. So we got four here on one team, four here on another team, four here on another team, etc. And uh, no student is left out. All right, so we're talking about basic arithmetic, but again, you want to make sure you understand the problem. Okay, so 27 students, and we have these teams of four. How many teams of four? can we or do we need or how many total teams do we need to uh, make this happen okay so remember the question here is what what is the smallest number of teams needed okay so that no team has more than four students so we have to kind of go back to the problem and make sure we understand it okay so no team has more than four students so can a team have less than four students yes and of course we're going to need a team that has less than four students so what are we talking about here well you guessed it we're talking about division all right so 27 divided by 4 is what well let's go ahead and actually figure it out right now all right so 27 divided by 4 so what we're going to have to do is use the division algorithm all this lovely mathematics that we learned way back in elementary and primary school. All right, so can 4 go into 2? No, 4 can't go into 2. Can 4 go into 27? Yes. How many times? 6 times. Okay, so we put our 6 right there. So we have 6 times 4. That's 24. And then, of course, we subtract 24 from uh, 27. And we have 3. So can 4 go into 3? No. So we have a remainder of 3. So 27 divided by 4 is 6. 
with the remainder three. But what does this mean in terms of our problem? Okay, so we have 27 students and we want teams of four. So we can have six teams of four, but then we have this remainder of three. So the way we interpret this, of course, is the following. Just to kind of uh, be clear about this, I wouldn't expect you to do all of this work on this particular question if you're actually taking the Praxis exam. But uh, even though you, you're not actually writing it all out in uh, the way I'm doing it on the exam just to save time, your brain should be thinking about how to model this problem, okay? Because if you get even a little bit confused, you may have to spend a few uh, you know, extra seconds with the problem just to make sure you get it right. The worst thing that you can do is rush easy problems because it's like free points on the exam, okay? So don't go too fast on easy problems because you're likely going to get those easy problems right even if, you, even if you have to spend a little bit of uh, time on them, a little bit extra time. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. All right, so here we have 27. We divided, it, uh, we divided 27 by 4, and of course the answer is 6 with remainder 3. So that means we're going to have 6 teams of, um, of 4. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 teams of 4. So 6 times 4, of course, is 24, but we have 27 students, all right? So we're going to need one team of three. So how many total teams do we have? Seven teams, right? We have six teams of four, and then, of course, we have one team of three. So again, very, very simple, but uh, very easy to make an error. So going back to the problem, of course, the correct answer is B. A teacher wants to pack uh, students into teams of four. If they're, 20, if they're 27 students, what is the smallest number of teams needed so that no team has more than four students? Okay, none of our teams have more than four students, and no student is left out. Okay, so again, the correct answer here is B. And uh, even if you got this right and it took you 10 seconds, well, that is fantastic. But again, you know, uh, a big part of what I'm trying to emphasize in this uh, video is is that when you are a, when you encounter an easy problem on a test like the Practice Math 5165 exam, oftentimes the problem is not really testing your uh, math ability on that particular problem. I think really it's testing your patience. All right. So in other words, do you have the patience, and can you really kind of gain the confidence and the confirmation that in fact you know the right answer? All right, so kind of keep that in mind because you definitely don't want to get uh, these uh, easy problems wrong because there is a lot of challenging math on the Praxis Math 5165 exam. All right, so if you need assistance with this exam, and again, uh, you don't want to uh, chance anything uh, because a lot of people do not pass this exam. It's critical to your certification. So if you're trying to be like a high school math teacher, you're going to have to pass this exam. So make sure to check out my Praxis Math 5165 test prep course. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your teaching career. Thank you for your time and have a great day.